Oh, there's gonna be spiders? Oh yeah, Morgan. Uh, what's more lyrium? Lyrium dust, okay. Okay, having nine is gonna be enough now. Oh yeah, we also have a crater. This is fine. What's this? Ruti cellar. Okay. Deathfruit, Alfred, Fractured Stone. Delighted. What was that? I don't know. You should activate this, Morgan. Why didn't you? Those are two points of damage we could have gotten. Very important. That's a dead person. Seems like some kind of poison gas. Shades. Oh wait, shades. Okay. Oh, uh, Morgan. Uh, you should do this since... It's, it sucks doing this because if she moves or if the dust rate moves, she's gonna aim somewhere else. So if we do this, not aiming at anyone in particular, we can deal with them easier. Nice. Oh, that was that was a nice, not a nice thing. But the rate is dead now, so. No problem. Codex has been updated for the... I guess with the big dust rate. Oh, what's this? Harvest Festival Ring. Plus 2 strength, plus 2 dexterity, plus 4 attack. That's a nice thing. The marker ghoul greenstone. Blue greenstone with a pattern like a turtle's shell. Okay. I think... Shale. That's the name of the golem. I think she or he? It? I'm not really sure. I guess it. The golem will probably like gemstones and stuff. However, Alistair, you. Armor penetration, stamina, and regeneration. Strength. Ah! Even with. Even with the ring, he won't be able to. He won't be well able to wear the shield yet. Maybe I can use it then. Plus one to all attributes. But I would lose five points of stamina, which I guess is fine. But getting a few points of strength and attack, I think it's gonna be nice. Since. Because I'm so slow with attacking, I think having the highest possible attack is gonna be a good thing. So do I lose constitution, some resistances, or do I lose some attributes? I mean, what does constitution give me again? Health by 5. Physical resistance, so I would lose 15 health, huh? You know what? Sorry, Alistair, but I'm gonna be wearing this. Uh, how many did we lose? 44? Uh, excuse me? Did this get confusing somehow? Contributes to physical resistance. But my physical resistance check didn't change at all. Does it mean that only the base constitution matters? I guess it does mean that. Okay. So Alistair. Do you want some constitution and fire resistance? You know what? Yeah. And the other one's gonna go to Liliana. So, better critical backstab damage. I think it's gonna be nice. And armor penetration is also gonna be nice. Hello, book. 
the Journal of Enchanto Wilhelm. Where is it? Books and songs? No. Oh, it's this one. 13 Leutanus. The interrogation of the demon is going well and is rather fascinating, provided that what it's saying is true. I have sent all my research so far to the first enchanter, Arden. And while he is concerned about my safety, he does not think that there is a reason to stop just yet. All I hope is that the Templars do not discover what I am doing. How will we ever find another way to deal with demonic possession? If the Chantry does not let us research it. 20. Eluviesa. Young Matthias nearly wandered down here again today. And this time I forgot to leave the barrier up. I believe I will key the defenses to ignore anyone of my blood. Oh, okay. I would rather have the boys stumble into the laboratory than have him killed by my forgetfulness. Poor lad. All he wants is to know why his father spent so much time beneath the tower. I will spend more time with him soon, I swear it. Jail is acting strangely. I wonder if I should discontinue my experiments upon it. I am so near a breakthrough. I am certain. Ah. Perhaps it is best if I focus on the demon. The demon almost managed to get away again? Tricky. I shall have to be more careful. Young Eamon sent a letter asking me to return to Redcliffe. I shall have to consider it soon. Could it be? What an intriguing discovery, especially considering that the demon was attempting to keep me from it at all costs. Or did it lead me to that information by seeming to deny it from me? I must discover the truth. I think it is time to dismiss this demon. It is too dangerous for me to continue holding it, and I cannot discount the possibility that it is having some influence over the golem. Or is it my experiments? I will try to deactivate Shell for the time being and then deal with the demon once and for all. Let it end there. No further entries. Okay, let's actually click everything here. So when we pick something up, I'm gonna be able to to immediately know which ones I already read. Spell combinations. Just click everything. Culture and history. Yep. What? Creatures. That's a lot of creatures. Okay, so this way we know immediately something happens and we get something new. What's this? Injury kit, greater warm bomb, resistance to fire, enchanted cow. Uh, I mean, some resistances and a large chipped fire crystal. Okay, what's. Oh. French cluster, cluster aquifier. Small chipped fire crystal. So we have a fire armor and a fire weapon for shale. Small ice crystal. What do you mean you've never climbed a tree? Don't cats like to be in trees? Uh oh. That's the demon! Be gone, full spawn of Satan! Oh look, someone's come to play. The kitty you is have come to play. How possessed. You? We're playing a guessing game. It's better with more people. Okay. Uh, who is we? Kitty and me, of course. You don't see anyone else here, do you? Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. Kitty finds you distracting. Uh, how come it's distracting? Kitty's clever. She says you want to take me back to my father, but I'm not going. She would be lonely. You are so kind, Amalia. I would miss you dearly if you left. Yeah, it's it's possessed. It's a desire demon or something. She sounds like a succubus. Of course she's a cat. She just talks, that's all. Talking is simple enough, once you know how. And also that Eldritch speak when she speaks. It's very, very telling. 
Okay, what are you really? I am a cat. Really. That's a lie. Nothing you say will convince Amalia to go with you. She loves only me now. I am her friend, while you are just a stranger. Okay, uh... Stranger finds you very interesting. I mean, do I tell her that I find her interesting? Sure! Oh! Did you hear that, Amalia? I have another admirer. That's because you're wonderful, Kitty! I have been bound to this chamber for decades, cut off from all contact. It has been maddening. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let us return to her father and leave this place forever. No, 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 no. You want to have... you want to possess the girl? No, no, no. That's such a crude way of putting it. I do not wish to harm Amalia. I merely want to see your world through her eyes. Is that so wrong? Uh... Oh, I can try to lie to her. Ooh. Let's try to lie to her. She's probably gonna know. But I have three points there. Thank you. You are very gracious. I don't know if it's mages worked. wards hold me within this chamber, and only a mortal may approach them. There is a trick to disarming the wards, but I do not know it. Perhaps you will succeed where the girl failed. Oh, this is so exciting! Kitty is going to be free! I've always wanted a cat, and Kitty is so perfect and pretty. Okay, let's see. Matthias' daughter, Amalia, is unharmed, but held captive by a demon that has taken the form of a cat. I've agreed to free the demon and allow it to possess Amalia. I mean, I lied to her. Or did I just unknowingly press the wrong button? No. Morgan, can you tell me something about what this? What do you wish of me? Situation? If you must. No. Of course not. Surprisingly, none of my companions talk here like at all. I when Kitty sings to me. I think they decided, making the DLCs, that... You know what, we don't want to bother with... Uh, writing dialogue for your companions. They didn't matter here. Now let's see. It's like a sliding puzzle, huh? Oh, I see. So this is gonna go like this. You can only move these ones, huh? All right. No, that's Delighted. not good. Uh... I know. Oh shit! I'm I'm being damaged. <laughs> Didn't notice. Okay, let's have him sit there. Uh, what I want to happen? As you desire. All right. Okay. Kitty is my best friend. Wait. Oh, I thought maybe if, if we go to all of the corners, then maybe like the statues are going to be activated or something. But I guess that was a lie. All right. I was thinking about the okay, sun, now. Really. <laughs> I kind of want this there. Okay. Uh, let's see. I kind of want this here, so. Tell me a story. Okay, we want that here and this here. Let's see. Ah, oh, this is gonna suck. I probably should have done this from the. From the end, because I want this here. Oh, it's a flower! Is it a daffodil? I like daffodils. 
Yeah, all of them are twitching like that. So I need this here. And this there. Alright. And so I shall. Uh, I made this small I was thinking so about the sun, eye. silly. <laughs> Yeah, I made a small mistake. Of course. This has to happen here. And there's none. Ah, uh, this has He's to be my there, best then. friend. Delighted. Can I just move this All right. somehow? All right. Delighted. Right, if I move this here, then this here. He is my best friend. And all this one. Oh yeah, this is fine. This. Be done. Yes. Level up for Liliana. I can feel the magic fading. Oh, I had forgotten how it feels not to be caged. Kitty, what's happening? A wonderful thing, my dear, for both of us. Okay, I did say I'd free you. I didn't say I would let you live. Betrayal! You will not take the girl. She is mine! Kitty! You're scaring me! I won't let you inside me! I won't! So now it's, we're gonna fight that desire demon. Nice. Wait, there's more... Oh, there's Lazar right there. But she has a name, she's Kitty. Cannot level up in combat though. Kinda sucks. Morgan, I need you. Oh shit, she got she got freezed. That's that's the thing I didn't want to happen. At least the, the demons don't seem to be extremely strong. Oh but Oh, bad, ha bad things happened. Okay, that 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 wasn't good. Okay, uh, shield bash. What's this? Shield bash, Basher. Yes, hit her when she's down. Also, shield pummel. Oh, thank you, Morrigan. That was very useful. Aha! You can. Didn't do anything. Could have gone so much better. It could have, but it's fine. You desire. What do we get? Incense of awareness. This increase. This incense makes the user more aware of the surrounding, of surrounding action. Okay, but less able to resist hostile influences. Granting the bonus to defense, but penalty to mental resistance. Nah. Helm of unleaf. Heavy helmet. Which gives me plus two to all attributes and three armor points. Oh, this is actually good. Plus two constitution is the one I have. I think if I give this to Alistair and give the other thing to Alistair, he's gonna be able to wear the shield. What's this? Cord of Shattered Dreams. Willpower and mental resistance for mages. Okay. Alice, you can wear this helmet. And you have 31 strength. So if I give you that. What? I kind of want to give him this. So, Alistair, you're gonna wear the lucky stone. So, you're gonna lose the constitution. Okay. This way, you can also wear the shield. Where is it? Here. 
So it's going to give him willpower and constitution and defense and armor. Looks decent. And it's already it's a tier five, so it's going to last him for some time. Oh yeah, uh. also, you we got we got what a belt, willpower and mental resistance. So now she's got forty nine mental resistance. Nice. Also, Laliana level up. So she's now level eight, which means we can get get her some stealing. Uh Ah shit. So I want to give her this. So we give her twenty cunning. Two more cunning. And that's basically it. She won't need more than twenty two cunning. For anything so I'm gonna I'm gonna end it at 22 base and then I'm gonna from her rogue abilities I think yeah yeah sure, this is good is there anything else here no okay I am kind of damaged, but I don't think I'm going to be fighting anymore. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I still had them um, not do anything. Oh, that's the reason. Oh, I'm an idiot. The reason why we failed so much in that combat is because they weren't moving freely. <laughs> Oh, they don't know what to do? Okay, now they do. They really wanted to do something. Aha! Killed it. Oh yeah, I'm also supposed to activate like, all of these. And Morrigan, you should activate. Oh, it's activated. Wait, it's not activated. Yes. Morrigan. Deactivate and activate. Good. So do I have it? Yeah, it's iced too. We do both electric and ice damage. Oh, and I'm closest to level 8 myself. 8? Yeah. So I... Apparently, I have a specialization point. Desire. But what kind of sucks is I can't really use specialization because I don't have it unlocked. So my companions, they all have those sp uh, specializations set, and maybe they can select a second one on level fourteen. Doesn't really matter, but. For me to be able to select something, I need to you did it. You meet some criteria. Her. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I ran away, Daddy. I was so scared. It's all right, Butterfly. You're safe now. All the bad creatures are gone. The phrase to activate Shale is Doolan Han. If you still want that bloody thing, I wouldn't if I were you. Now we should go, and quickly. Thank you again. We owe you our lives. Okay. That was that. So let's get to our companion. Now, if I'm gonna be using Shale, then I guess I won't be using Alistair, so it didn't make sense for me to give him the shield and the ring and whatever. But it's okay. It doesn't matter too much. Julen Hong. It's moving. It's alive.
Hello. I knew that the day would come when someone would find the control rod. And not even a mage this time. Probably stumbled across the rod by accident, I suppose. Typical. I like him. Ah, uh, let's see. And how do you know I'm not mage? I mean, I wear heavy armor. Uh, hello to you too, yeah. I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long, many, many years. Okay. Oh, you poor dear. That would be really, really boring. <laughs> the villagers had no idea they were being watched. Creepy. Then one wonders that you wouldn't be grateful to the one who allowed you to stretch your legs, Gollum. Hmm. Another mage, I see. Charming. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? No, not all of them. Some got away, then. How unfortunate. Okay. Uh, did you watch the attack? Not as much as it would think. There was running and screaming, and then days and days of watching the darkspawn prowl around. Oh, okay. I would never have thought there could be something less interesting than the villagers, but there it was. Well, go on then. Out with it. What is its command? I mean, uh, why do you call me it? Entrenched sense of perversity. The last one who held that damnable rod used to call me Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget... Gollum, pick me up. I tire of Ooh, walking. I like that one. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. I mean, I think it's a special Gollum. Because most of the time, Gollums don't talk. You're right, Morgulon. Or it's something, something like, Gollum, do this. Yes, master. I mean... Is something wrong? I see the control rod. Yet I feel... Go on, order me to do something. Uh... Fine, attack Alistair. <laughs> hey! And, uh... Nothing. I feel nothing. That's I good. no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is... Broken? Uh... So what now? Do you go on a killing rampage? Don't be ridiculous. Well, I wouldn't mind killing the birds. Those evil birds and their foul droppings. I could crush them all. Hmm. I suppose if I can't be commanded, this means I have free will, yes? I guess. It is simply, what should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me? I actually wanted you to help me with the with the dog spawn. I see. Wonderful. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. I think you're actually going to be safer with me because if you don't... If you don't have a master... People are going to assume it's a murderous golem, so... Well, first, what do you want to do? I watched this village for so long, unable to move or act. My memories of anything before are vague at best. So I have no idea what I want to do. I'm glad to be mobile. Is that not enough? Okay. Uh, well, you killed your former master. Did I? I remember that I had a former master. The mage with the furry brows who poked and prodded and barked orders. Oh. Did I kill him? I hope I did kill him. Perhaps the last order he barked was, Gollum, stop crushing my head. Ah! I think the mage was actually experimenting to give the golem free will. I notice you don't call him it. Yes, I'm just funny that way. Okay, are you gonna keep calling me yet? Yes, very likely. Okay, can you be trusted? 
I have no idea. How does it trust anything else without a control rod? I mean, well, good point. They haven't killed it yet. I consider this a good sign. Okay, you can stay with me. Are you certain you want to bring that thing with us? It could be dangerous and large. I mean, it, it is large, but think of it as a portable battering ram. Good point. Better it than me, anyhow. I will follow it about then, for now. I am called Shale, by the way. Hello, Shale. I'm Duran. Shale is a type of rock deposits, some kind of thing. So that's probably a joke, but no. Uh, I'm Duran. This should be interesting. Yes, a rock in a hard place. Bye bye, Plastic. Alistair. Yes. Hello, Shale. Alistair disapproves. Shale approves. I think actually, actually, Alistair disapproved because I told Shale to attack him. That's probably it. So, Shale, you're basically a dog with your attacks, but you're a specific kind of warrior. Is that right? A warrior Shale. Makes sense. You don't have any skills, but that's okay. Because you only have these abilities. So, what can I see? Killing blow. A lot of active abilities, huh? Some passives down here. What's it? What's this? Whenever stone aura is active, Shell gains a bonus to armor. Party members within the aura receive additional bonuses to armor, health regeneration, stamina regeneration, and spell power. That's nice. And it doesn't have any upkeep? Oh, that's amazing. Rock Mastery also doesn't have any upkeep. Oh wait, these are special... Okay. So these are just special modes of attack. An offensive one, a defensive one, a ranged one, and like an aura one. And she can probably... He can probably... Why do I say she? I mean, Shale does seem like more feminine than masculine, but... So, let's see. Modes of attack. I'm gonna put here. Like this. Pulverizing blows. Or Zonheim. Or Rockmaster. So he can throw. Okay, so what do we have? It attracts the attention of a single targeted enemy. But what's this? Ever stone aura is active. Shale gains additional bonus to armor and to resist hostile spells. Party members within the aura gain additional bonuses to attack, stamina regeneration, critical chance, and armor penetration. Enemies who enter the aura suffer penalties to movement speed, attack, and defense. For natural resilience. Shale gains additional bonuses to armor and to resist hostile spells. Party members within the aura gain additional bonuses to health. Regeneration, spell power, damage, and to resist hostile magic. Yeah, the stone order seems amazing. Bonuses to attack, defense, health regen, with all the talents in the chain. Shale gains bonuses to armor, to resist hostile spells, and party members. Well, huh? Yeah, I mean, I think I'm gonna have Shale have stone order. In the end, he only has to be like level wood, 16, uh, 24 to have everything here. But that's not that's not much. Oh, but well, let's let's do the pulverizing blows for now. What's your tactics? So activate precise striking. That makes sense. Quake, bellow. 
Está uf. Or maybe the defensive mode. And just to have it. Just to have shale. Always threatening. I shall do it. How much health do you have? 260. That's kind of a lot compared to Morgan and Liliana here. Yeah. And even to me. Yeah, I think I think this is perfectly fine. Now then. Now then the question is Do I continue with the main story, which I don't have to do because nothing really forces us forward. Do we do that? Or do we do the DLC stuff? I think I want to do the DLC stuff. Hello. Oh, she has birds. So, Flemeth's hut, we could go there. Good chance again, maybe. Do we do Ban Lauren? So do we do the return to Ostagar or do we do Soldiers Speak? I think I want to do this. Return to Ostagar. And then maybe I should go to Flemeth too since I'm going to be close there. Oh yeah, I should have given Shell some uh, some weapons and armor. Take a closer look at the unarmed man. You are surprised to recognize the uniform of King Caelan's honor guard. A memory comes to you. You fought alongside this man at Osaka. And the guards? They wear the uniform of Ban Loren, a minor lord well known and little loved for the fluidity of his allegiance. There's I don't think they're gonna leave. They're gonna want to kill this guy, so. Join the fray! Oh. Gasp. They're all so eager to. So, Shale. What kind of equipment do you have right now? You have a large chipped spirit crystal. But we could give you either a fire or lightning or nature. nature. Uh, and what kind of weapons do you have? What do we have for you? Well, the one that we have for you that's the best, it's the ice. Yeah, we can have that. Uh, let's actually give you fire. It just changes the colors of the crystal. Or if it's unequipped, there's no crystal. Yeah, I think fire is the most common. We should sell some stuff. Oh, how much? How much do I have? Six. Wait, so I can wear the dragon arm? No, 38. Ooh. I should have gotten the helmet from Alistair. That's okay. Uh, oh, they're gonna go up here, huh? Oh yeah, what kind of mode of attack do you have? Defensive. That's okay. Okay, Try to be let's have that guy. Okay, Shield's attacking the private militia. I'm being very, very much attacked, so let's win the potion. Okay, he's gonna die. Especially since Liliana is attacking very quickly and nicely, nicely flanking that guy. Backstabs. 
Now I wonder if Chill should be using potions or what. Okay, a cutscene maybe? It doesn't seem to be cutscenes. Oh, let's loot first. Heavy chain mail boots. Uh, did they pick it up? I did. Oh, fruit. Could go out, but no. So, that's Elric. Have to check him. Out. Up close, the man's face is unmistakable. You'll remember him as Elric Moraine, a member of Caelan's honor guard at Ostergaard and a close confidant of the king. Oh, he's alive! I, I didn't expect the band's men to notice my escape so quickly. I tried to hide here in the woods, but there wasn't time. And now I'm a dead man. Oh, uh, I mean... What do you mean there wasn't time? You were there in Ostago. You know how things went. For me, it was either this, or die in some dark spawn's belly, or, or be hung as a deserter. Okay. Yes, I do recognize your face. You were there with the Grey Wardens, one of Duncan's new recruits. I was to guard the king. He was my friend, understand? Yeah. Nico. All that time in Ban Loren's prison. And I couldn't stop thinking about all they suffered that one dark night at Ostagar. Okay, I mean, it's not your fault they died. I know. Even had Loghain's men not turned their backs on us, the Darkspawn were too many. Even Kalen, for all his bravado, knew there would be no victory at Ostagar. The king entrusted me with the key to the royal arms chest. If anything oh. were to happen to him, he said, it was vital I deliver it to the Wardens. You still have a ski? The Maker has a sense of humor, doesn't he? I suppose it's for the best, however. Had I kept it, it would be in Ban Loren's hands by now. I was afraid. I thought I would lose it on the battlefield, so I stashed it in the camp. Please. It's probably still there. Okay. And you don't think the dog spawns found it? I hope not. Would they know how to work the lock even if they did? The key's behind a loose stone at the base of a statue. I'll draw a map for you, so you'll know where to search. If you have any survivors of the battle among your companions, take them with you. Their memory of the terrain will serve you well. I'm only sorry I cannot join you. It is vital that the King's documents do not fall into the wrong hands. Uh huh. As for Marek's sword, it is too powerful to be poured at by those monsters. Same for the King's Ooh. other arms and armor. And... And if you happen to find Caelan's body, see it off. He was our king. He shouldn't be left to rot amidst the Darkspawn's filth. I think I'm gonna have to slit uh, Alistair then. Into Ostagar credits and the quest. And what's, what's other credits again? Character Shale. Can I say I have a heart of stone? Nice. That's a nice. Sort of joke there. Golems of Ozama once made up the vanguard of the dwarven army, holding back the tides of darkspawn that flooded out of the deep roads. But, uh, but the art of making them was lost, and many of them succumbed to wear and damage in battle. Gale has no memories either of the time spent fighting the deep roads or of coming to Hunleaf. Only a few spotty and bitter recollections of its last master. Duran unearthed Sheol's control rod and awakened it, adding a bitter, malfunctioning golem to the menagerie of companions. Which is what new do we get? Rage demon and a desire demon. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Gather the party, go to camp. I'm gonna sell some stuff. Oh yeah, Bowden. You here? Yes. If there's have a shop? anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. Yeah, let me see your what's oh what's your story? 
Yeah, let's persuade him. Well, if you're really interested, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm originally from Orzammar, just as you are, I suspect. You don't have the look of a surface dwarf about you. I was a merchant there, too. Merchant caste. These things are in the blood, you know. You can't just leave them behind. I ran a fairly successful business. Rare artifacts, you know. Old things, grand things. The nobles loved them. Reminded them of the lost glory days, I suppose. Okay. And why does he leave? One day, a noble woman came to my store. She looked around for a bit and then started shrieking in dismay. Apparently, oh. she believed that a pair of braces I had for sale once belonged to her brother. He'd been lost in a cave-in, you see, while on an expedition to clear out the dark spawn from one of the tunnels running close to the city. Okay. They were made specially for him. They're unique, she shrieked. He stole them from my poor brother's corpse. She had me arrested on the spot, of course. Nobles, they're touchy like that. And did you steal them? Well, I didn't steal them. You see, I, I had been paying these castless thugs to venture out into the deep roads for me. The lost tigs. Th they're full of things that people left behind. Sometimes you can find a treasure. Something worth a little gold. Okay. I mean, it's just stealing. You didn't steal it from a grave. It's from a corpse. This is repurposing the weapons and armor. I see. The noble woman, she wasn't too happy with the theft of her brother's braces. I don't know what they planned for me, and I didn't want to find out. Bribed the guard that was watching me and took off for the surface first opportunity I got. Never looked back. Okay. And now we are here. Yes, here I am. Now, is there anything the boy or I can get you? Yeah, I want to sell you some stuff. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Okay. First of all, do you have a... I think Maddox... Oh, okay, fat loot. Stick. Hand puppet. Necklace. Oh yeah, these are like the special... Uh, holiday pranks and holiday gifts. Things. Chastity belt. Who wants a chastity belt? Who am I gonna give it to? I think Alistair. There's just sugar cake, thoughtful gift, love charcoal, threatened onion. And they're so cheap too. Oh, manuals. And a backpack. It's expensive though. So we can buy the manual for being a ranger and templar from him. Uncrushable pigeon. Oh, I think Cher would, would be unhappy about this. Comfortable in the knowledge that no force could ever crush it. Yeah, this is for Shale. Yes, I will buy the backpack. For a legion mask. And for the light. Abridged. There's those runes. There's the Tome of Physical Technique. So... One point to spend on a talent or spell, and this is talent or spell. So this is just for mage, this is for everyone else. 22 gold, that's kind of expensive, isn't it? Okay, first of all, we want to sell some stuff. Sell the axe. Sell the oath keeper. Sell the fire arrows, because they give me a lot of money. Uh, sell this for sure. I'm gonna keep the lightning one. Maybe. Oh, dragon bone. 130 gold? That's a lot. That's a tier 7 weapon though. But that's gonna wait for some time. Uh, let's see. The normal, like... Weak stuff you can sell. Yeah, let's show two the enchanted gold, two the clothing, two. I kept the lightning, so I'm gonna keep lightning it too. 
here it's fine here I mean most of these things we don't care about at all I don't know if the wolf belts are useful for anything or is it just just a thing to, to sell later same with the blank felon I mean it's not for crafting because if they would be used here it's not a quest item so I guess I should just sell them yeah sure let's just sell them this is just vendor trash I guess I should just also sell the gemstones. Don't know if I'm doing the right thing. I probably am doing the wrong thing. But that's okay. This is a gift. This is a gift. Woven runes. So. Uh, I think Morrigan is going to like this one. And Shao is going to like this one. Carving of a robed woman. I think. This is for Liliana. Robed woman, which means probably a, a, a chantry thing. Okay, this is fine. Dragon's honor. Ooh! Dragon blood plate stuff. Eat strength. Okay. I could buy these. No what? I'm not gonna buy this yet. Like my little talk, yeah, plus six attack plus six armor, that's nice. 